like, look, look. If you look at how I'm doing this right now, see the bot? See how I'm like just moving side to side and then it just controls my aim. So like right there at this little sign, that's where I'm actually hitting the aim assist window size. So once I'm in this area, my aim is being controlled to an extent. And it's just your job just to guide the crosshair and correct it and hit the head. So currently right now what I'm playing on with Widowmaker, here's my sensitivity currently right now. I'm playing at a 85 horizontal, 75 vertical. If you go to advanced, I'm going uh, 100 aim assist strength and uh, aim assist window size 100. I'm uh, putting aim, e aim assist ease into zero just for testing it out. Usually I have it at 50, but I'm going to test it out for now. Aim smoothing 100, and uh, yeah, you don't really need to worry about all that stuff. Here's the rest of my stuff. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah. Um, my, uh, what do you call it? My zoom in when I look at my scope sensitivity is at, uh, 70 currently right now. I had it at 85, but that re felt really fast and inconsistent. Um, so, uh, yeah, I put it at 70. Um, I used to, like, run 65 and 55, but uh, I'm, a tr I'm trying out 70, and I think it helps out a lot. And I just feel that learning a uh, faster sensitivity is actually really good. Um, for playing Widowmaker especially. Um, uh, because aim assist is very strong in this game. And, uh... You should really um, take in consideration that aim assist is very strong in the game, right? So if you have a fast sensitivity or something that's just much like you can react a lot faster to people, you're going to notice the aim assist a lot controlling you. But when you have a faster sensitivity, it like balances it out to like where it's allowing you to still move your crosshair around and not be like stuck in one spot. Because when I was playing Widowmaker on a very slow sensitivity, I noticed that the aim assist was just way too strong because I couldn't push through those window sizes. Like, it was just, like, not allowing me to. Because I wasn't trying to flick really hard. I was trying to actually track. And uh, it just wasn't helping. And whenever I have, like, hot battles with another Widow scoping in and out, um, yeah, the aim assist was just really fucking me up. So yeah, that's what I've what I've been doing right now as of as of recent. So yeah, I mean it's kind of fun going back to console. Um, it's, it's very challenging, I have to say, uh, from my experience versus PC. Um, it's literally fucking night and day. Uh, if you go on PC, you practice like for like I don't know maybe like six months to nine months. You can be like insanely good with mouse and keyboard. I, I just feel that like if you're good with Widow on console, you can definitely be good with Widow on mouse and keyboard because it's way more consistent and just like precise aim. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I have to I have to give props to like all the console players that play Widowmaker or Hitscan in general, or just just the game in general. Like console is just way fucking more challenging than PC. It's it's just like a cold hard fact. It's just very. Um, you need to put like countless hours into playing on console to actually be insanely good. Especially with controller. Um, even with a mouse and keyboard, um, if you were to play uh, like a play with a mouse and keyboard on console, um, in my experience that uh, it doesn't sync up very well. I've tried it before. Um, I didn't like it personally. I just feel that a controller syncs up insanely better. Um, I, I don't know how people use uh, like Z uh, Zim Zim4, uh, Zim Apex, uh, like little adapters where you can put a mouse and keyboard. I just find it very challenging, especially when you're playing like at 30 frames and like even frames drop even lower. It just does not sync up as well as it would with just a regular PC. So yeah, that's just the way I feel about it personally. Um, yeah, it just doesn't sync up well. Like with the PS5, um, I, or for example, like when Overwatch 2 comes out and uh, like 
you're able to play like at 120 frames because like with ps5 games apparently with the ps5 you can do like 120 frames now that can be another story in terms of mouse and keyboard and actually can cater to a lot of like pc players that just like want to come to console i guess or just like people that just in general are good with mouse and keyboard could play on ps5 because if they're allowing you to do 120 frames it's going to be another story that's going to be night and day versus ps4 with like 30 frames usually for majority games um yeah because there's not a lot of games where there's like 60 fps on on ps4 like i mean like at least the games that i play they're always like capped at like 30 so it's just, it's very fucking limited and the reason why it's like it's not because mouse and keyboard is bad in terms of aiming it's just you really would have to get used to like the rhythm of syncing like your clicks on console and it's just gonna feel really weird in my opinion so that's why i've just been playing on the controller and I, i've always been a controller player and you know, if you haven't known that um i've always loved controller it's always been my favorite i've played countless call of duties been in clans in my past and I, i've played so much call of duty and uh yeah i've, I've sniped a, a very long time and i've always just been a uh, a gamer, especially uh, just into shooters in general. Yeah, I still love other games too, but you know. Yeah, so that's just my little tips video on <laughs> random, random shit. Um, yeah, so. If you have any other questions, um, yeah, just let me know. I'd like to help out, help out y'all. Um, I've been trying to enjoy uh, Overwatch uh, again. Uh, I've been just trying to just, you know, shrug off all the bullshit and just just try and enjoy the game like once again, you know. Um, I, I hope Overwatch 2 lives up to its expectations. I'm gonna do. A, I need to do. A, I should do a video on Overwatch 2, um, like just talking about like like how I feel about it. I'm gonna do that. Um, like when more news comes up about overwatch 2 because like i feel that this game can really be revived and uh with a sequel um i feel that they can fix a lot of problems that are going on in the game um i just feel that it still has a lot of potential as a shooter as like a kind of like a moba or i guess you could say um team based game yeah anyway um, hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Go click some heads. Uh, yeah, I love y'all. Peace out.